Hi everybody, David Wesley here, and welcome to episode six of Meet the Choir. In this series, I introduce you to some of the interesting people I've had a chance to meet through my virtual choir projects. This week we meet David Serna. David is 15 years old from Anaheim, California. This kid is talented with a capital T. He's been part of my last two virtual choir projects. He's a great singer. He absolutely shreds it on the piano. You can hear him playing in the background. And he's a conductor. He's taking lessons and conducting a youth choir. This kid's going places fast. Make sure you remember his name because I'm sure he'll be famous someday. I had a chance to meet David and his family when I was visiting Saddleback Church in February of this year, back when handshakes, hugs, and international travel were still a thing. So now you get to meet him virtually. Um, so David, take it away. Hi, my name is David Cerna. I'm 15 years old and I'm a sophomore in high school. I came across the concept of virtual choir through my homeschool program. They were starting their own virtual choir there for the school and they were making a calling to all the students, see if they could put a project like this together. I've been singing in church since I was three years old. I've been taking piano since I was seven. So music flows through me and it caught my attention. So I signed up for it. I had never heard of virtual choirs before. So I began researching them and I came across Eric Whitaker's virtual choir and it just blew my mind. I thought it was really, really cool. My passion has always been for classical music and mainly for sacred music. So I also began looking to see if I could find like a Christian virtual choir or something. And then I came across David Wesley's In Christ Alone. I thought it was a beautiful arrangement. I love his enthusiasm, his passion, the fact that we share that passion, the liking for arranging and the same name. So I subscribed to his YouTube channel and I began to, to check out his other YouTube videos. Shortly thereafter, I got a notification for virtual choir project number four, A Mighty Fortress is Our God. At that time, I was working on my own choir for church that I had put together. Coincidentally, we were also working on A Mighty Fortress. So I signed up for it and I submitted my voice. And it was really, really something. I thought it was incredible how you could unite people from all across the globe into one project to praise our God. I thought it was a blessing. I'm definitely looking forward to his next project. And if you haven't already, I definitely recommend that you subscribe to his YouTube channel and that you check out and sign up for some of his future projects. I hope to see you in one of them soon. Thanks again to David Cerna for being part of my virtual choir and for taking the time to get back on camera to tell us his story. This is the last episode of Meet the Choir for a little while. I spent the last week or so between my shifts at the hospital uh, putting together a new music video that I hope to release soon. Speaking of the hospital, it's been very interesting to be a healthcare worker in the midst of a global pandemic. The situation is evolving day by day, sometimes hour by hour. Your prayers are appreciated, not just for me, but for all healthcare workers and really the whole world. Um, I'm not terribly worried. I know that God is in control. Uh, he saw this coming a long time ago. One interesting thing is that churches, schools, universities, I've had a few of them reach out to me about making their own virtual choirs, virtual ensembles. Uh, my skills are in demand because it's not the easiest thing to make. Um, I'm, al I'm already in talks with one church to help them get a project going. I do hope to start another virtual project of my own in the near future. These things do take a little while to organize, so please be patient. I just want to thank my patrons for their generous support on patreon.com. Um, obviously during this pandemic and all this uncertainty uh, where people spend their money, they have to be a little more careful. And I really am grateful for the support that they've given me. It helps me keep going on YouTube and I hope that I can continue to do so and provide hope for people during a time that seems very hopeless. So be on the lookout for a new music video from me and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Hit that bell notification icon so that you can know the second a new video has gone up. I will see you guys later.